This just in, gang, we are going to be a part of the New York Comedy Fest here in New York City, November 9th. You can get tickets to come and see us at Gotham Comedy Club, November 9th. It's going to be a fantastic time. Yes, and also don't forget, October 27th, we're going home, baby. The boys are going back to Philly. Helium Comedy Club, one show only. Get tickets. That's close to selling out. New York's going to sell out. Philly's going to sell out. Let's do it. Get your tickies. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and (laughs) welcome back. To everybody's favorite new podcast, this is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. You don't say. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antutti's basement. She's a little upset with the boss today. With me? Yeah, don't play dumb. What what did I do? Well, you know, she's a big fall girl. She's a big October girl. She loves Halloween. Pumpkin spice, everything nice. Pumpkin spice, everything nice. She went to the store, I think the Acme over there. The Acme? Picked up a box of those ginger snaps, and now they're gone. We know you have a fetish (laughs) for them. So don't play stupid. Kippy likes a nice gingy snap. Let me tell you. Dip that in a little bit of hot cocoa till it breaks apart. Good I, knock. I tell you what, you want to connect with your Irish heritage. Have a couple ginger snaps and a cup of tea with a little milk in it. <laughs> a little bit of Bailey's, too, if you're talking my Irish heritage. <laughs> Spice it up a bit. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Yeah. He's an international businessman. Do me a favor. Give me a nice big round of applause for the one the only, Mr. Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> hey, gang. Hey, buddy. Thanks for having having me oh don't be silly good to see you <laughs> glad it worked out uh <laughs> thanks for tuning in everybody i uh, appreciate all support uh if you haven't already please make sure you rate review uh and subscribe on itunes those numbers are cooking uh-huh. uh and then full uh-huh. video available on youtube and as you know those numbers are true the roof true the fucking roof i'm sorry i mean interrupt but we got cooking we got through the roof that's everything right hmm. mm. i feel like there's another website platform media company that we we work on it's so funny i gotta tell you about this awesome website i just found it's called patreon.com and it makes you a millionaire (laughs) it's unbelievable and we love you shout out to patreon.com the yam family all the yam subsidiaries ham yams whatever you need i'm in i'm your i'm a company boy sweet lord watch over them (laughs) sweet dear baby all that money man Ow. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinary. He's a magic man. He makes us all look good. The man behind a lot of the videos, all the videos uh-huh. that you see that you love with us, Tebow McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, Boone. Just, you know, in here working on a football Sunday like a real good employee. Don't forget it. Come <laughs> <laughs> when it comes down to write them checks. <laughs> I'm a Venmo man myself. Working on a Sunday. Um, I want to say something real quick. What's that? In the business realm, I don't mean to step on your toes. Buddy, is, is this a board? Me- are we having our, our first public board meeting? You're talking about Patreon. Talking about, to- what's that? Talking about Patreon.com. Never heard of it. Backslash are you garbage oh. for bonus content. Yes. Now, one of the things that we've been doing is fat court. Yes. Right? Yes. Trying to get Uncle Hank situated. Sure. We had a couple of real passionate, real funny episodes with fat court. Yes, a couple we, of tears were shed. We just brought you just brought me back in on charges. Listen, for the for the for the non-Patreon listener, we we did fat court a few months ago and uh you were released on probation. Yeah. On your own, you know, on your own accord. Right back to my old ways. Yeah, oh, buddy, what a vengeance. You let me out, I'll kill again. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm a born criminal, folks. I'm like the ice pot man. <laughs> <laughs> so I let you out off on your own. And then we had a little probationary checkup. I sent the parole officer over to your house to start poking around. Yeah, I think so that pulmonologist <laughs> gave you a call and started running his mouth. Because yeah. when I was at the cardiologist a few months ago, I was 385. And all of a sudden, don't, I- be, give, don't be giving out all the Patreon details. <laughs> God damn, what the fuck? Well, well talk to that pulmonologist. He's not, three, he's not 385 anymore. <laughs> Newsflash. Breaking the, breaking the fourth wall here. I'll give you a little You're bit. You're going to know you're fat, you idiot. So, I think they know. So Fat Court is back. Fat Court's back. All I wanted to say, check it out. It's absolutely it's absolutely a great time. 
And everybody, lo- we love you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know where the I love you came from. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you just, panic when the lights get on you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Like a roach in the fridge. Um, Before we get started, gang, as you know, there's a family app. We're mm-hmm. going to be answering your questions sure. here live. <laughs> Live to tape in front of a studio audience that's only T Bone. <laughs> um, I I think I've mentioned this to you before, but what do you so- got? For some reason, it's becoming more and more prevalent that I'm realizing that I do it and I have to do it, and I think it's garbage. But I bet you there's a lot of people out there that also do it. Okay. When I brush my teeth, yeah, in the shower. Yes. He, any- he used a nerd's robe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys using Fun Dip? Yeah. Um, when I brush my teeth, mm-hmm. and I want to say that my brother has this same affliction, too, from hearing him brush his teeth, um, like when we were living together, if I was in my room. You I gag hear, yourself, I feel. I gag my, I can't, I'm not satisfied with the brush mm-hmm. until I do my tongue with the toothbrush, and then I have to go back so far, whereas I gag myself. Which every once in a while leads me to throwing up. And then I got to brush my teeth all over again. But is that a thing? Do you brush your tongue until you, eh, do you do a little gag? And then you feel like you got everything? Yeah, I hate it though. You do? Well, uh, not, not, not every time. Not every time. Yeah. It, w- w- if I'm really getting back there because I did some damage the night before, it's, I hate that feeling. What's some? What's you do a tongue scraper? Did you ever do one of those? Take the paint off the walls. You yeah, do one of them it's, things. It's, it's, it's too much. something. You're like, how is that? It's in, too much. How do you not smell that? It's too much. I don't. I don't get it. Like it's, bologna on a Honda. It just oh, peels dude, right it's off. Too much. I don't get. I'm like, it comes out like icing. And you're like, you 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 then take a whiff of that because I'm a guy. I'm a sniffer. I'm a big sniffer. I'm sniffing pretty much anything. Yes. I put on a nice thing here. And you'll, I, I act disgusted at what you do, but I, I'm sniffing. Poop on the finger, I'm, it, I'm taking a run at it. Not anymore. Really? I, as a kid, I would dabble, yeah. <laughs> anymore. I know, I've, been, I've been to the other side. I've walked on the moon. I know what it smells like. I go right to the sink. Ah, uh, uh, cheesesteak with onions. Um, man, we got it. We were in the fucking slop right away at this one. <laughs> His mutter was a mutter. This one's dirty. His potter was dirty. a mutter. Dirty. Uh, we're just being honest. Yeah, folks, that's what it is. The real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com. Uh, <laughs> Most pretentious toilet humor. <laughs> um, I. You know what? What I. It's kind of. It's weird. I'm gonna open up. Right. We're in the trust tree here. Of course we are. Um. I'm a big. Uh, I like to get a whiff of. Uh, <laughs> look how look how happy he is. <laughs> Is it the taint? No. Because I'm also a connoisseur. <laughs> Don't act like you ain't. <laughs> I'm not. For something Listen, so dirty, why does that area smell like bleach? I don't get it. I, I stay away from uh, that area. I don't go, I don't go whiffing. Anyway, I know what I know what's there. I've been there. Like I've said, I don't need it again. Okay? Okay. I've had enough. I've chased the dragon, as okay. you know. But what I'll do is... Uh, You're in gym class getting high on your own balls? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, get out of here! <laughs> Ryan, knock that off! <laughs> Sorry, man. All the basketball smell like Fermunda cheese? You got pubes all over your face? You had pubes in high school? Um, yeah. I, yeah, that was a joke. Okay. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> got pubes. Yeah, I would hope you had pubes in high school. <laughs> Be weird if you were driving with a fucking... With a bear with a bald eagle down there. <laughs> Ooh. It's a prereq to get your your learner's permit. <laughs> um, fuck, where was I? Smelling oh, something. Oh, the floss. I get the thing and I'll smell the plaque on my flo- on my floss. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> you were just talking about smelling your asshole, dude. No, 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 and the no, poop no, no, that gets no, no, on no. your First hand. First of all, I didn't know plaque smelled. Give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you want your hair blown back on a Saturday before you head out. Uh, I hate that. Well, the, the little things. Rotting tooth smells one of the worst. Oh, it's not rotting tooth, but it's like, uh, I love those. I, yeah, I, mine either. I forget. <laughs> Jesus, most of you is rotting. <laughs> um... The the picks, like the individual floss johns, there's one called glide. And there's another one called slide to try to rip them off. But those things that have the shank on the end of it? Yeah. Ooh, those but things are dangerous. You gotta get glide. Though it's like oral B glide. It it's like orgasmic when it gets in there. It really? slips in, doesn't bleed. It's 
It's I don't know what it's like NASA. I don't know what it's made out of, but nothing else comes close to it. I like a good toothpick, like like the picking of the teeth. Yeah, go do a little session while you're watching. Oh yeah, my yeah, dad yeah. was big with a matchbook. He'd rip a little piece out and sit there yeah, yeah, while yeah, we're yeah. watching Night Court or the mm-hmm. A Team or something like I that. I remember my fourth grade teacher, Mister Bennett, used to open up a paper clip and then dig in his ear. And I remember thinking, even then, I'm like, that seems a little bonkos. Right? Like, you're hey, playing with hey, fire. Hey, how's the divorce then. going, big guy? Because <laughs> you're not even supposed to do Q-tips anymore, let alone getting in there with a fucking little needle fucking what digging around. What the fuck is that? Yeah. That's insane. Do your guys' gums bleed when you brush and floss? Not brush. If I'm flossing, it depends uh, the how vigorous I am. But, yeah, I mean, for sure. Brushing, no. Never. That's the one thing that I've always done every day. I don't know why I do it. I don't know how I keep up with it without any effort or whatever. I wish I could apply this to every other aspect. It's like cle- of my life. keeping the tires clean on a hoopty. But I can't. I floss every single time I brush my teeth. I floss. Dude, I look like Apollo Creed laid really? out on the canvas, yeah. dude. It's That's bad. bad, man. Talk to my mom. Patty, straighten them out. Yeah. She'll be losing it. I'll be getting calls about that. You got to tell, tell me that boss is steak. I, I do. I floss a handful of times a week. I wouldn't say it's every day, but probably 70%, you know, maybe like four or five times a week. I'm, it depends on the schedule, if I'm running late, whatever. Um, but uh, I remember I went to a, the last dentist I went to. She's like, do you floss every day? And I was like, no, I'm like most days, which is probably pretty good for most people aren't flossing every day. I don't think anybody is. Yeah. So, Stuff's just sitting on the shelves. Um, I was like, most days, she's like, most days isn't good enough. I'm like, first of all, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Most, like, hey, I have most days. And she's mm-hmm. like, do you, she goes, you got to do it every day. I go, yeah, I try. She goes, well, do you eat every day? I'm like, yeah. She's like, then you can floss it. I'm like, eating and flossing aren't the same fucking thing, lady. Why don't you, why don't you start God. making floss out of chicken bar? <laughs> maybe I'll fucking think about it. <laughs> what are we doing here? Let me ask you a question. Do I dump my floss in a nice marinara? <laughs> no, I do not. Yeah. Take a hike. <sighs> so you're not a gagger. No, I'll get in there. But you're a gagger. I don't go too deep. Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. I don't go too deep. I'd be interested to know what the, the bozos. Shout out to the bozos. To the bozos. What, what, what the squad, what the gang thinks mm-hmm. of that. It's got to be some gaggers out there. I believe I brought this up in casual conversation in the green room one time, and our good friend, Mr. Matt Richards, Previous guest on the show gags it that he I I, I I'm pretty sure that. it was him I don't get that that he you have to have that feeling but I could be wrong it's not for me not for me yeah it's bad yeah I blew out a blood vessel in my eye one time doing it because I did it and I ugh, and I popped a <sighs> popped right, the circuit okay, all right all right okay I mean you're that's crazy that's you always take it a little too far. Oh, I'm sorry, floss sniffer. I'm judging <laughs> no, time. I'm just saying. In, no, I'm not saying on the show. I'm saying in life, you got to fly that close to the sun where you're popping blood vessels. Like That's it. what I'm saying. I like it up there. There's, it's never enough for you in anything. Nah, it ain't. Food, drugs, Bernies, <laughs> food, food, food. Food. This drugs, guy's an Bernies. over. This guy's an overindulger. If you catch, I don't right know there. what it is. Yeah, I got to get real close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it right there on the edge. <laughs> Rise from the ashes. Playing chicken. With a chicken sandwich. <laughs> now. What? That is some business. Yeah. This is a family episode. Family ep, folks. So uh, as you know, uh, when it's just me, the big man, and T-Bone, mm-hmm. um, they're family eps. And we answer your Patreon, your garbage questions as you ask on Patreon. It's the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we throw in a couple of IGs, maybe a DM, maybe the Facebooks and stuff. But, maybe a DM. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're running through the Patreon queues. Mm-hmm. And we got some heaters. This one's. And since we're in the bathroom, right? We're in the bathroom. Yes, we are. Let's talk about it. This is from Chris. Uh, what is the current status of your shower curtain? I fucking hate it. That's the current Mine's status no of my bueno. shower curtain. Mine is no, no bueno right now. The lady likes to, you know, she does everything really nice. She knows all the sure. all The, the cool broads stuff. know what they're doing. They do. However, sometimes... Uh, we get in a situation at the Foley household where it's fashion over function. We want it, she wants it to look nice. So, as you know, growing up, the inside shower curtain was always hardcore plastic on the inside. Of course, it's got to be waterproof. Right. The, 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 the trend now is to get, like, cloth ones that are nice. Oh, my mom has that. The hotels have them. Take 
a hike with that. Yeah. It's all over the floor. I get out, I'm fucking slipping and sliding. Yeah. I was no yeah. good for yeah, the big yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, when I'm in there, it, it's like you're washing an elephant. Oh, really? I, I've requested. I you're more as a meerkat kind of guy. <laughs> I, I've, re, I've requested. <laughs> I've requested the bar that goes out a little bit, Ooh. but that got vetoed quickly. Two guys in safari hats scraping your hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a dentist tries to shoot you. <laughs> I'm chewing on a palm tree. Yeah, you, you can't. This goes back to fat court. You can't be altering, you know, the structure of your house to fit. You. I want the, the the slider. I want the, the the one you can't see through the old school glass. You, it's the not fog it, glass. Yeah, my dad. The one one of the houses my dad rented after the divorce. Those things those. get shitty real quick. Oh, after like three showers, like, that thing's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. But right now we got the cloth one, like a white cloth one, and then a, like the clear plastic, not like the old school, but like a plastic liner. Yes, because you got to have the waterproof on the inside. You got to. We got that, and uh, my lady's been visiting family for the past handful of weeks, and that thing I haven't taken a run past. That thing is dirty. Oh, it's <laughs> it's got black mold, green mold, brown, whatever you want. It's Here, like here's the good news. It's not great. Here's the good news. Get rid of that in two seconds. Not, get a, get a, not cleaning it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning fucking it. Fucking rip that down. That's a sandwich bag to I, me. Yeah, what are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Those no. are condoms There's, as far as. There were shower condoms. Yeah. That thing's getting thrown out. And I'll tell you what. We were such. I got to do it. We were such garbage when we were kids that I remember like every single time that my mom got a new shower curtain. Oh, boy. Like it was great. Oh, oh it was a thing. Yeah. Like yeah. one had like fishes on it. And like it, it, you always felt fishes? so. Fishes? Fish. Fish. It always felt so fresh and clean in there. The smell of the new oh, plastic. Oh, man. That'll show you up. Don't you love that? that Shooting smell some blanks of... all over that Woo! thing. <laughs> the smell of new plastic. Shooting jellyfish on that bad boy. Mm, love that. It's like a new car smell. Do you guys have like a real New York setup for your tub? I got a sideways shower. It's no good. I got it. I'm sideways now. Buddy, that shit's. I'm sideways. That's, I'm sideways. that's like something in a coroner's office. <laughs> That, that is such... Just got the chain that you pull. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen like those sideways showers. For folks that don't live in the city, it's what good. it is, it, it's, it's literally in the middle of the tub on the wall, and the tub's going the other way. Uh-uh. Yeah. Take a hike with that. I got one of those now. That comes with roaches. I got one of those now. Um, But the good thing is my shower head. So the shower head's in the middle, which is nice, and it's a bit... It's like a, it's like a fucking... It's like a sewer cap. It's a big mamma jamma. Okay. So the whole middle of the thing is water. Ooh. It's straight down. Not you don't have You have to, a rainfall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very So you nice. don't have to fucking it's not coming in on an angle, so you gotta like, you know, you don't mm-hmm. have to move your body ever. You're just fucking in it. You're wet. You're wet. I, I like a rainfall, it. but I need some power. This thing's this thing cooks. It does it? Yeah, yeah. It's, I got I got a serious Mine cooks. I got a serious business in this apartment. Yeah, this might be the best one I've ever had in New York. Love it. Yeah, it's Love great. a nice hot, especially now, fall this time of year, you open the window, you get the cool breeze coming in, the hot shower. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you feel like you're in Sweden or something like that. <laughs> Iceland. You're in, it feels like you're in a hot tub. Iceland? Iceland. Iceland, yeah. Iceland. 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 Yeah. Because my, one of my garbage- Thanks for going to Waterland. My, <laughs> my garbage, one of my garbage dreams is I want to be in a hot tub while it's snowing. I've, I've done that recently. You've done that? Yeah, when I went to recently. for my anniversary. When we when I got stuck in the snowstorm. Remember the the, the infamous uh, Woodlock Woodlock yeah, Farms Woodlock or Farms whatever it's called, or, uh, Pepperidge Farm. Yeah, uh, yeah, outdoor steam. Lockwood. The spas at Lockwood. Woodlock. Yeah, Woodlock sounds like a prison. Okay, state, not federal. <laughs> Work release. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was fantastic. But that just brought back a memory of buying. Uh, obviously, before this podcast, we were a couple of real poor bazos. I mean, like you wouldn't even recognize us. <laughs> a couple of loose airs. Uh, real hand up on money, and for a long time, we were cash poor. For a long time, I had an Air <laughs> Airb- I had an Airbnb in my apartment. I remember you were like locking up your silverware in your closet. So I would air- somebody got in too. Yeah, I think a couple of these two broads from Kentucky came up, smoked a bunch of meth. I think. Uh huh. And broke, I'm into, broke into my closets. Sounds like a nice little weekend. Tore everything apart. So let, all right, let me back up a second. I used to have to Airbnb 
my before my wife moved here, we had an apartment, and she would was traveling back and forth for like months at a time. And when she was gone to cover rent, I would have to Airbnb my apartment because you can make like four hundred bucks on the weekend for it. And turn a trick or two. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my boys, my little booty shorts. No kissing. So no kissing, Kippy. I would have to Airbnb my apartment. <laughs> And the, We're having a good time. I know. Uh, I had to. Uh, it was. I. It was the, my. My shower curtain was so filthy, like filthy, filthy, filthy. Okay. And I had these people coming, like that. They were coming in like three hours or something. So I'm like frantically trying to clean the apartment so it's the people not coming. It's a fucking mess. And uh, my shower curtain was just like fucking. Because I was living on my own for like four months at that. But it's just not good. Bachelor, like bachelor you don't even know style. what it is. I don't know what it is. It should be waterproof. It's like <laughs> crud or strange. That's where you would. That, that's so, where. It, that's where a new civilization would form. So if they were, I remember I'm sitting there and I'm like, I didn't have. They're like what seven bucks at like one of those corner like you know discount dollar. Three stores. seconds, you got one. I didn't have the money. Jesus, I, I didn't have the money. So I I was sat there and started scrubbing the fucking. Put a sleeping bag over it. <laughs> I'm in the shower. It's not on, but I'm in the shower, like wearing like jeans and shit, like scrubbing the inside to get the fucking. Should have just got rid of it because I've done that. And then I wouldn't have one. No, would... Then you just put the other one on the inside. I only I was only rocking one, just oh, one plastic. Oh one. my! I was Airbnb in my apartment. I didn't have. You to, were only have... rocking one. You only had the liner. I didn't. Yeah. Jesus I didn't, Christ! I didn't have dual fucking curtain money. It's like sleeping with no sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Which is nice sometimes. Kip, let's talk about Butcher Box. Butcher Box? Yep. Got back from uh, San Antonio. Yeah. All right. What was waiting for me there? A huge box A of meat. Enormous box of delicious, grass fed, unbelievable meat. Ground beef, steak tips, steaks. A whole chicken. Organic, free-range chickies. Crazy. Yeah. Chops the whole nine yards. It's all in our freezer. We take it out in the morning when we want to have it for dinner. It's unbelievable. You got to get on Butcher Box, I'm telling you. Yeah, guys, for a limited time, Butcher Box is giving new members. Write this down. Call your mom. Whatever you need to do is giving new members two pounds of free ground beef in every order for the life of your membership. Hello, police. I'd like to report a robbery. <laughs> Imagine never having to shop for ground beef again, baby. And I got to tell you, I got about 50 pounds in my freezer. And it ain't just ground beef. It's the good stuff because it has that it has that real, real red color to it. It's great. The deals, it's a no-brainer. Once you signed up, you choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the custom one. You get exactly what you want. Your whole family is going to love it. Ships. Butcher Box ships your order frozen at peak fre freshness and packed at 100% recyclable box. Shipping is always free. Enjoy great tasting, high quality meat delivered right to your door. Yeah. Fantastic. This is your choice to never, this is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again. Butcher Box is giving new members free ground beef for life. <sighs> free ground beef for life. Sign up at butcherbox.com slash AG and get two pounds of ground beef. In every order for the life of your membership, log on to butcherbox.com slash AG to claim this deal. Do it. How about our good friends over there at stamps.com? Love them. We don't show them enough love. We got to show them some love right now because they save you time. They save you money. Do you don't want to waste time hanging out in the post office when you can do it all from your office. We're a small business. You're a small business. Okay? Get on stamps.com. Kippy, straighten these bozos out. Uh, yeah, stamps.com brings the service of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS shipping right to your computer. You just need a computer, a printer, the internet. You can do it from your car, your house, RV, boat, whatever you got. They'll do it. And whether you got a side hustle, Etsy shop, full-blown warehouse, setting there stuff go. out. There you go. If you're hustling, trying to make ends meet, we do the merch, the whole nine yards. It's fantastic. Do the merch right here. Throw it all in bags. Bring it down to the post office. Dump it in the bin. We're outside catching a Bernie in about two minutes. Bro and go, baby. There's no risk. And with our promo code GARBAGE, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. They sent us the package. Easy peasy. Easy. Lemon squeezy. Easy. No long-term commitments or contracts required. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the homepage, uh, type in garbage. That's stamps.com, promo code garbage. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. Kippy, I got a word for you. Manscaped? Manscaped, baby, come on. 4.0 lawnmower. Uh-huh. We're talking ceramic blades. What? We're talking powerful yet quiet motor. Ooh. 
We're talking light so you can see what you're doing down there. Spotlight. We're talking waterproof, Ooh. manscaped. You got to get on it. Unbelievable. Yeah, guys, with the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, Inside the package, you'll find the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which Foley just ran down for you. Fantastic, yep. Braddy. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. You get the weed whacker, ear, nose, and ear, nose, and hair trimmer, crop preserver, ball deodorant, crop reviver toner. When you want a tight sack, mm -hmm. easy P. I'm a tight sack man myself. Okay. Performance uh, boxer briefs, which are top notch. Travel bag to hold all your stuff, guys. What are we doing? You know, Manscaped. Get involved with these guys, ladies. If you're listening, get involved with these guys. Perfect gift for the for the homies. Yeah, for the boys, for the men. A lady could lady, use yeah, it too. No, well, a lady wants her man. Ah, a lady wants the man to keep it neat, clean. I also just saw Manscaped on Shark Tank. Shout out, you're on my favorite show. Really? I saw when we were in Texas. So technically, we were on Shark Tank. <laughs> Manscaped even threw in two free gifts. To the performance package, the, the 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 travel bag, the boxes, the whole nine yards. So, guys, this is what you do. You I get, use that. I'm sorry to cut you off. I use that travel bag all the time. That is a we. I would call that a shaving kit bag. It's a shave. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Unbelievable. They're Leather, great. fantastic. So, guys, you get 20% off plus free shipping with promo code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code garbage at manstop.com. Make your balls a priority this fall. Choose Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. Now, back to the show. Yeah. Wow, and, uh, those, those were dark times. Yes, they were. Then those those two broads. I so I would lock up. I had my closet in my room. I would lock up closet in the living room. I would lock up, and it was more of like you could open the you could fucking rip it open if you wanted to. But it's like if you do that, it's you're, a seal. Yeah, you're just it's a seal going like I clearly broke into your thing. Yeah. So they got in somehow. They took the tools that were under like the sink or something. I had like a drill, and they drilled off the fucking locks of the wall. Great, very smart. Very smart. Got in there Gotta and just, it. like, tore through all my fucking shit. Like, everything. And then I forgot they were fucking with all the electricity or metal stuff, and someone's like, that's meth. Like, they were, like, digging through, looking for something. I was like, oh, okay. That was a sleepless night when I got home. Just fucking laying in bed, just picturing these two fucking... Little meth demons <laughs> creeping around. Yeah, these two meth tugboats running around the fucking house. Picture them like crabs walking yeah. sideways. That's my shit. first time in New York. <laughs> well, it's the last time in my apartment, Tuts. Keep it moving. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah. But I respect the move. Hey, that's why I open. Uh, that's what I, you know, I'm opening up my apartment to fucking meth heads from Kentucky. That's what happens. They were going to like the Lady Gaga concert or something. That's what they told me. That was the ruse. Anyway. That all checks out. I always had a fear too. People would be shooting porn in there. So anytime I'm looking, anytime I'm perusing the hub, I was looking for my apartment. Ryan family photo in the background. <laughs> you making a stupid face. It's me on stage. <laughs> so to answer your question, we keep it pretty tight over there. When when my wife's running the show, it's oh, tight. Yeah. The fact that she's been gone visiting fam, it's fucking... It, yeah, any it's, alteration to that situation, it, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's gone. I, you can't leave me in my own device. Yeah. I'm carrying there's just if boxes, you If you only have everywhere. one, it's got to be on the inside. If you have two, do it the smart way. Plastic and stop and trying call. to look cool. Yeah. This ain't West Elm Street or whatever it is. <laughs> what are you, Freddy Krueger? <laughs> West Elm Street. Um, all right. This one I did last night. This is from Blaine. Do you pee in parking lots? Oh, yeah. Did it last night. Love it. It's a freeing feeling. Peeing outside's the best. Ooh. Peeing in the grass. I do it all the time when I'm at my parents' house, and I have to take the dog out to the little dog run where she goes pee-pee and poopy. Mm -hmm. um, dog run is a, is a loose term, too. You know what it is. You've seen that. Yeah. Where, where the that's filter is saying. for the pool. <laughs> that yeah. is a piss corner. <laughs> yeah, that's not, I mean, that's not a dog run. She usually poops. There's on no a, grass there. She usually, it's like broken seashells. <laughs> it's old. It's old metal cans. Yeah, that's it's not a. Soup. That's not a. A dog run has like a house and a and you know something. That ain't a dog run. Oh, uh, we should get our little doggy house back there, but then she wouldn't be inside, and we need our snuggles. Um, but when I take her back oh, there, I'll, I'll go. We pee. almost descended into Foleyville real quick. We uh, I I always pee while she pees. It feels great. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Feels really good. Parking lots. But after a ball game, you got a bunch of beers in you. Even last night, we were in this. We were in. A, we we went into the show. We we're in the sub, suburb, Connecticut, suburban Connecticut. Quiet. Not a building in sight. Walk over to the fucking grass. Peeing by the moonlight. Psst. Yeah. Takes you back to childhood. Oh, baby. we used to pee Love everywhere. It. Just yeah. whip it out and pee. It's nice. Um. Real I can't. I can't hold on. my. I can't hold my pee anymore. That's one thing. I guess getting older, 
I can't really I, like when I gotta pee, I gotta fucking pee. You gotta go. Yeah. And when I time. pee, it is the greatest feeling of all time. <laughs> it's awesome. Peeing in your forties is it's like two weeks vacation. It's He's fantastic. It's currently doing a bit, folks. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> Didn't work on stage, so he polished it up. It's in a becoming pocket. a bit, but I'm it's a genuine sentiment. Which I feel entitled that I can discuss here. Sure. In this arena. Of course. I'll give you some notes afterwards. I used to work part time as a waiter. <laughs> Waitress. Waitress. <laughs> you don't even, know, don't even know your own bits. <laughs> <laughs> That's how out to lunch you are. Be less than that all. Um, this one, um, this is from Kemper. I've ne- this is, you know, uh, have you ever been pulled over more than once, more than once in one night? That's Jesus. a bad one. You're in a, you're, you're in a bad way with some bad people if that's happening. That means that you have something on your car that isn't legal. Tints, you got a light, light out. out. Yeah, light out. Tail bad light turn out. signal. Yeah, something. bad turn signal. That's something. Yeah, but. Or yeah, that, that ain't no. Or, or or you're in a small town and the guy Johnny Law's got it out for you. True. You might have you know you might have diddled his his girlfriend before they 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 linked up or something. Some high school beef. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like. I'm that. a sheriff now. Yeah. And these tents are too dark. Real Rambo stuff. Get out of my town. Exactly. <laughs> Keep an eye on that guy. That guy's a loose cannon. <laughs> um. Now. Yeah. Garbage. Um, this one I had I had a I had a run in with today where I had a moral um this is from Clark. Stealing from the checkout or nah? No. What are you stealing from the checkout? I don't steal like the self checkout. No, I'm not I I'm not giving them the satisfaction of some bozo stealing. Getting you. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. that. Of course. Of course. And, and I, I don't like the security guard in the front, too, that checks your receipt. What are, I don't Take understand that. Walk. What, are you going to go through all my bags? Yeah. Kick rocks. I get the, it's, it's, you know, it's an honest day's work. I get it. But sure. Like, have that guy pushing a broom or something. I think it's like Home Depot. They look at it and, like, hit it with a highlighter. It's like that's, you know, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Um... But today in my supermarket, uh, they installed these. The pad like two months ago. What the self checkout? They got rid of three really? checkouts and put in three self checkouts. It's three jobs going. So I'm like, uh, I don't like them. I don't know. They're not great. Typically, if you're walking to like a proper Walmart, Target, or whatever, I don't mind hitting them in and out. Real fucking. These are sometimes they're stupid. These, like, the, I don't know, the products are in because it's like it's a mom and pop super. Put it in the bag. It is in the bag. It's not, hey, please. You got to wait know, for help. And this unidentified and that. object in the bagging area. Kick rocks. And that guy, the person that patrols that, yeah. they're always the worst. Yeah. Because they didn't want to do the regular checkout. Uh huh. They took the self checkout spot yeah. on the shift. Sure. So they didn't have to fucking deal with anybody. Yeah, I don't know if they're. Now they're anybody. coming over to car and they walk away. So today I, I've been avoiding them because like everybody when you're waiting in line, everybody so there's like you can go to like the regular cashiers. It's like the same line. And when you get up there, it's like you can go and no one uses them because they're not great. Like bananas aren't in there. You know, like not everything's fucking in there. That's oh, good. You know your codes. You can put your codes in. 4011, 4088. Hit me with something. I know the code. Broccoli. 4088. Check that. That's shampoo. Shampoo. <laughs> There's no code to shampoo. Why not? It's produce, you buzz. Oh, it's just pr- kiwi. 4080. Parsnip. Oh, that's not that one. Yeah. Cilantro. Uh, Red they, beets. Cilantro, all, those are all scans, typically. On the tie, they have the bark. Oranges. Broccoli Or- crowns. 38, though. Uh, oranges. This big sun-kissed oranges, I believe, are 48, uh, 4088. Granny Smith apples. Red Delicious, Honey Crisp, Mountain Dew. Four, six, six, Cantaloupe. four. Yeah. I know, though. I'm pretty good. I got a curveball. Eggplant. Uh, Nobody's buying eggplant. No one's buying Russian eggplant. Russian potatoes. Dude, to get that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one's buying what? Eggplant? Not that regularly. Not like fucking bananas. I think I have more eggplant a year than I do have bananas. Love an eggplant parm. Yeah, but you're not buying it and making it. You're not making eggplant parm at the house. The lady does. Not as much as you're eating it. What was the last meal you cooked? That I, like, I personally cooked? I think I took some different leftover Chinese and made a little... That's not cooking. Made a little... <laughs> made a little mix. That's being hungry at 3 a.m. That's not cooking. It's a good time, though. Take all your Chinese leftovers, put them in the one saute pan with a little bit of water, give it a couple of flips. Woo! Look out. 
Fucking General Chow's lo mein fried rice. <laughs> Fantastic. A, a la Fan, Foley. A la Foley. It's, it all works. I don't know why. Yeah. If you do it right, it works. Um, but I'm checking out today, and it's all fu- – the guy goes, here, use this one. I go, no, I'm going to wait. And I was like, next time. I said, just use it. Like, and I'm like, all right, I'll fucking – I'll use it. Go to self-checkout. It's going. It's chasing you around the store. <laughs> this thing's gone rogue. It's not – Reading the one thing I'm buying, the eggs or whatever the fuck, it was just like this. This thing's not in. This product's not a product not identified. So I'm like, ah, oh, come over. And he's like, ah, oh, try it again. I'm like, it. Ju- I just scan. It's not gonna now know it. Scan it again. Nah. So he's got to redo the code. So I'm like, so now he's got to enter the fucking you know two ninety nine or whatever the fuck it is. And I was just, I was so mad. At it. I, and then I was gonna, I wanted to steal because then it's an honor system on how many bags you need because you got to pay for the bags in New York now. Yeah, I was gonna I- steal the bag. Nah, I'd be okay just with out, that. Just out of spite. But just I love making those. Me do, you make me do it and then the fucking thing doesn't work. But I love those bags. I have ten. I throw them out because we have so many of yeah, them. Yeah, I don't think that's solving I've the never... plastic bag problem because now you just have a nicer bag that you're going to use once and throw away. Yeah, but it's not plastic. That's the idea. It is plastic. Isn't that plastic on the outside? No, what is that is. shiny part on the outside? Oh, you're like you're talking about like those proper... Re- mine has like uh, more... It's like paper. Like cloth kind ah, of. Ah, yeah, 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 those yeah, are yeah, pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah. I thought that was plastic, too. You're a buzz. So what'd you do? Did you steal it? I didn't, but I wanted to. And I, I don't like stealing. As, as the listener knows, I'm an honest nah. man. Toby, get me down the barrel. I'm an honest man. I don't steal. Uh, never really stole anything a whole bunch. I say don't give him the satisfaction on that. I'm just, yeah, I just, yes. But it was frustrating to say the least. Let me ask you this. What? Yeah, hey, buddy. Pretty garbage. Ask me something. If you've done it in the last 10 years, it's okay. trashy. You ever picked up a magazine at the checkout in the grocery store? Hmm. Or of, of late? No. Or a magazine in general? Yeah. Flying years ago, I think I would be like, <laughs> I'll grab one just to, like, like a, a maximum. maximum? You dirtbag. You're sitting on a plane reading a maximum. You're that's there's families there, little kids running. They around. show boobs on the screens, do they? On the European flights, yeah, oh. they get real kinky. They show those in orange juice commercials over there. They play. <laughs> now things are getting yeah. Kinky. Those euros play fast and loose. They yeah. don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. What did I watch on the way home? I can't remember. Ooh, Goonies. Watch Goonies on the way home from. Uh, I know it was right next to you. Yeah, I was a half a seat away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fat joke, folks. Boom. Yeah. Uh, all right. This one. This one I've been wanting to bring up because there's been some some new developments. Uh, this is from Sideshow Bub. Great name. Uh, and obviously it says, "Do you buy any clothing at Walmart?" You're a big George guy. Uh, George. Collection. George's Walmart. I was thinking, isn't George Kmart? No, George's Walmart. I have um, Barry is Kmart. I have the Barry uh, collection. I have rotated out of the George collection. Why? Oh, because two doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Man. George only goes up to three. Man of my stature, I require a four, maybe a it's five. It's not stature, girth. I would say, a man of your girth. A man of my perpetuity. Obesity. <laughs> obesity. <laughs> you will be paid in George obesity. Is, George is no good. George is no good. Yeah. Quality wise, though, love it. It's so funny. I'll that, get back there. This is what I wanted to do. I, I, I wanted to bring up. I was hanging out. I'm trying to find good tees. I was always just a big H&M guy because I never really had money, and they're six bucks, and it was whatever. I don't like spending money on clothes. But, you know, they, we're, we're wearing the shit out of them. We're traveling a bunch. You know, just so I wanted to find new tees. So I, you know, online bought them. They were good for like two washes. And I'm like, they were like fresh tees or whatever. You know what I mean? The manly tee or whatever. Mm-hmm. Bought them. Whatever, not good. I saw my buddy. I go, what tea is that? I go, he goes, I go, because I'm, I'm in the market for some new teas. I'm looking for a new tea. And he goes, a cool dude. Real cool dude. Really? Real cool dude. Yeah, George? One of, no, one of my coolest buddies. I go, what kind of tea is that? He goes, you'll never guess. He goes, I, I go, where do you get it? He goes, take a guess. He goes, I've tried Bowling. them from all over. All over. I tried hundreds of brands. George Collection at Walmart. 
He goes, they're durable, they fit well, <coughs> they don't shrink or they shrink to the right, and then they stop, they don't keep going. Some of the H&M ones, they go through the wash once, and then it's a belly shirt. You're like, what? I didn't put on 19 pounds. Mark it here, folks. I told you a year ago. Uh, you did? You were Shout out to the George collection. You were ahead of the George. I'll give you that. And also, cool dudes are wearing George now. I'll give you another little inside tip. What's All that? right, You can call your broker and tell them to fucking <laughs> make a move. Target has a brand called Goodfellas or Good Friends or uh, Goodfellows. Yes, it used to be Massimo, I believe. Really? Yeah. Well, our, our friend Brendan Sagalo was wearing that, and I talked to him. I go, "What kind of tea is that?" He goes, "Goodfellow." Yes, they make all of my cargo joggers and orthopedic socks and orthopedic socks. <laughs> yeah, but the cargo joggers that I wear are only a double X. So for you big boys out there, so they they run a the yeah, they like, run a bit big. I like them. If tight. you're in a double X. Yeah, oh yeah, they're huge. So you can you they're nice and they're comfy. Are they manufactured Pluto? <laughs> what the fuck? You a double X. Double X. Yeah. Double X, baby. But I wear them skinny. I wear them tight. Sure. I like to show off the uh merchandise. And the pee spots. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple. That's what's tough I when know. you go all fresco. When I don't you look wear camo in the crotch, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> when I don't you wear a big desert store camo. When I don't wear undies, the dribble goes right right, right through it. See, when you have undies yeah, well, on, yeah, wear undies. You're not wearing undies. Eh. Man, fat court, folks. Fat court. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I am what I am. So George collection. Shout out to the Shout George. I'm going to give it a whirl. And I don't want this to be I'm stealing your style or anything. But as far as like socks, underwear, sweatpants, um, uh, a huge fluorescent T-shirt, get all that shit at fucking Walmart. Why wouldn't you? Shotgun, cooler, bicycle. <laughs> yeah, I just don't find myself at Walmart. I think they stopped the shotguns, didn't they? I don't know. Hmm. Certain parts of the country, maybe, maybe not. I remember these have bow and arrows in there. I thought that was the coolest thing. I got my wrist rocket at Kmart. Really? Man, yeah, the marksman. Those things were downright dangerous. You could have killed those. somebody. Yeah, killed, I did kill a couple people. Really? Yeah, had it coming. Look at you, American Sniper. The, <laughs> the Kevin Ryan story. <laughs> the eight-year-old story. Popped out of a yeah, treehouse. Yeah, had the wrist rockets. I had a glow gun that I got the Pennsylvania State Fair. Jesus. Glow dart gun. With, with the actual, like, sharp needle? Yeah. What the fuck? I was, a, I, was an, I was an outdoorsman. What were you, chasing archaeologists <laughs> in the jungle? What the fuck is that? The kid got it. If you know, you know. Yeah. Too bad you don't speak. Javitos. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I had the blow, gu- blow dart gun, paintball gun, wrist rocket. I was a real Dennis the Menace type guy. Hey, what are you, fucking Nelson Muntz over here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who's that? Oh, man, this kid. Whew. Check this guy's fucking passport. <laughs> yeah, we got to take this kid to pop culture school. <laughs> Nelson Muntz from The Simpsons, the bully. <laughs> uh, I didn't know his last name. Sorry. Okay. I just didn't think you would have still caught it on Nelson. Just killing the vibes. Yeah, that's... and the bully thing. Yeah, I would have Nelson. I would have Nelson Munz. I thought he was like an actor or something. <laughs> I, I thought he was like a character actor. Wasn't he in Grey's Anatomy? Yeah, I'm like that guy from ER. What are we talking about here? That's a. I mean, on paper, you were kind of a piece of shit of a kid. What? On, I'm saying on paper. What? On paper. <laughs> I didn't fucking come here to have my childhood. Besmirched. Just because let me go. Can I go? Th- I'm the CEO of this podcast. I'm an international I, business I, man. I, I'm on the board of multiple companies. Listen, I said I said with all due respect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said with all due respect. It's in the Geneva Convention. <laughs> on paper. How was I a piece? What's a piece of shit? I'm, just, I'm gonna go over it with you. I'm gonna go over it with you. You ready? That was the most offensive thing you've I ever said. I said on that. paper. I did I not say on paper. We've been You're perso- a lovely guy. We've been personally attacking everybody, each other, for 10 years every day. Fat, ugly, bald, small pee-pee. The whole nine. Mm-hmm. That hurt me. Really? Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> we play rough around here. <laughs> All, right. Ever get All argu- right. Guns out. Let me get my blow dark. You up. ever get an argument with somebody that isn't a complete psycho? And it's like, you know, you cross that line. It's like when we, I get in an argument with somebody. Go for the jugular. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mean anything that I say, but I'm trying to hurt you. I thought that's what we, I, I thought that's what the dance we were, sure. we were moving to. Yeah. I thought it was say the most, the meanest thing I could possibly in humor, think of. Like thinking it's going to get a lot. I do that like. No, when, no, I'm talking about real arguments. 
Like, you know, okay. when you're yelling at, like, your well, family. You don't want to hurt them? No, I want to hurt them. Okay, I thought you just said you don't want to hurt them. I apologize. No, no, no. I don't mean what I say, but I... You, you, oh, you yeah, say you're, going, you're, going for the, you're going for the win. You're exactly. going for the W. <laughs> the yeah, win. Yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah. way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Going for the win. Yeah. So, back to what I was saying. On paper, as a child... God, I don't like this. Divorced parents, latchkey kids. Mean, just so my parents have divorced doesn't mean I'm a piece of shit. Just let you me... stay together and you stink, <laughs> all right? <laughs> there is some evidence to that. I mean, what are Hold we on. talking about here? Hold on. Stay together for the kids ain't always good. You hear that, Patty? Go-kart. I was a... My brother had a go-kart, yeah. Mini bike. I had a mini bike. BB gun. Yeah. Blow dart. Sure. Wrist rocket. Sure. Paintball gun. It's not like I got them all in like a fucking cash. Dogs you know? that would go missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I picked up a fucking John Wick. <laughs> yeah, like what? The, I didn't have them all under I'm the bed. I'm just saying, man. That is, th- those are the things you would. It, 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 a piece. If of there shit. was a Jeopardy question, what are things you would find in a bully's garage? Those items would come up. <laughs> That's crazy. Also, I, six, cigarettes at five. <laughs> smoking cigarettes at five. Not five. <laughs> Five and a half. Seven. Smoking cigarettes with a wrist rocket in your hand? You're up to no good. <laughs> you're lucky you became a CEO. It's like you turned your life around. What's that say about you? If you, if you had it so good, you're my employee. What's that say about you? I was babied. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I was babied. Yeah. Yeah, I was babied, too. I got all that cool shit. You're just jealous. You didn't have the cool- list. Okay, you were babied by the Hell's Angels. Though. <laughs> I was. I was the youngest prospect in club history. <laughs> you had a pack. Coke. It was. A, it was a patch over. <laughs> you knew how to pack a brick of coke by sixth grade. <laughs> Me and the cookers were down in South Philly. Um, I was at the community pool. You were muling it down to Florida. You wouldn't want all that shit as a kid. I think this. Hundred percent. This. This goes to the whole stop, stop, stop. stop. This goes to. Your thing all the time. You're jealous of all the shit. So you paint it in a dark. You paint it in a bad way. I, I You wouldn't want to. Let's, let's run it. You wouldn't want a go-kart as a kid? I would love a go-kart as would a kid. Would you like a mini bike as a kid? Yes. Would you like a BB gun? Yes. Would you like a wrist rocket? I think you start to cross the line of. As, at what? Oh. Dennis the Menace. Cool kid. Dennis the Menace had a fucking... Slingshot. Yeah, but made out of wood. These are... To- the fucking Halliburton makes those for his no, rockets. Oh, you're not. They strap to your arm. You put a marble in there. What do you mean? Marble? What do you... What, 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 you weren't flicking corn pops at people. Pebbles. You're shooting at trees and stuff. Yeah, that could kill somebody. What? Right? You're crazy to, to say that that can't hurt somebody. Kill somebody and hurt somebody are a different thing. Oh, you're talking about one of those long... St- I was a seven-year-old. I, it's not like I was fucking Joe Rogan out here <laughs> with a stabilized bow. What are you talking about? I was a seven-year-old that barely had any upper body strength. I was a fat kid shooting <laughs> M&Ms at the tree. Shooting M&Ms in your you own mouth. You were fucking running and picking them up. <laughs> You, you would love all that stuff. Okay, let me put it to you this way. Yes, I would, and I agree with you. Sorry I had parents that loved me and had a disposable income. <laughs> <laughs> had to make our didn't own. Sp- yeah, didn't spend all the money on fucking Marlboro Lights, okay? <laughs> had to make my own wrist rocket with a hair tie and a fucking <laughs> and a broken fork. Um, no, and I agree with you 100%. So th- this goes into like this goes into my argument with you of like, the above, above ground cool, pool is better than an in-ground pool. It's like... That's just that's just you making this up. Yes, I, I do do that as deflection, but I, I'll be honest with you. Sure. In this case, yeah, I dude. Don't... If I had like a if I had the Red Rider BB gun on my back and I was like you know skateboarding and like setting things on fire down the street, sure, call me a fucking piece of shit. But I was a nice wholesome kid in the woods. Just said oh, building no. a treehouse. Now don't act like you were out there with the fucking Cub Scouts. Come on, I, I was. I was you in were the Cub stealing Scouts. lumber to make fucking half pipes with your fucking dirtbag buddies. <laughs> Who may or may not have been sniffing gas. <laughs> Glue. And okay. I'm, a, I'm aware that I do do that. I'm saying sure. that. But I want to say this, that w- whenever I had Chinese stars. I never had Chinese stars. Pussy. What are you kidding yeah, me? Say, oh, you're bad. I had, I had like a, the, an American wholesome slingshot. You're playing with this fucking, this fucking, this international ch- Chinese star bullshit. Mine was American. American made. You're working for the enemy. Here's the thing. I put those all in the same category. Whenever I had the Chinese stars of the fireworks or any of that fireworks. kind of stuff, I always felt like I was doing something wrong. Can I say that? Sure. That's just because you're fucking mentally warped. That's not my problem. The, f- the fucking father, father Steve got to you. Kid's got a point. I don't <laughs> say. Felt like you're doing something wrong. Never had a Chinese star, huh? See, that goes. I lumped that in with all that crap. 
No. That would have been in my I was a, I had I, I had like it was like a Christmas story. I had the Red Rider BB gun. He was a good kid. Uh, I see more buzz vibes out of you. No, not at all. Really? Yeah, no. I was a wholesome boy. Wholesome with kid. With a wrist rocket? Yeah, it's a slingshot. What I mean, what do you think? I'm like doing bank jobs and shit with it. It's a fucking slingshot. Well, I was in the, in the woods with like a fucking pebble. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I just said on paper that sounds like the. I, I think that's your internal. If you were playing Bully it. the video game, those are the things you would go around to collect. Yeah, get over here. I'll give you a wedgie. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're nuts. That's crazy all right. to me. All right. Okay. Toby, weigh in on this. The the anxiety for the illegal throwing stars is hilarious. You're like, I feel like I was doing something wrong with these illegal fireworks and throwing stars. Yeah. <laughs> it's way more dangerous than a than a slingshot. Really? Way okay. more dangerous. All right. So I'm the bad kid. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, when's the last time you saw a ninja with a fucking with a slingshot? I did. Exactly. It, I, what bad guy has a slingshot? I d- what bad Proper guy criminals has a have your weapons. Chinese stars. You were a pyro. I did I did hit the neighbor with the Chinese star once. Yeah. And I'm a piece of she said piece of shit. He owed me money. Oh man. I'm kidding. My cousin found it and threw it into the woods. Cuz it was bad. Man, the Catholic guilt in your family is something else. Ripe with it. Layered. It's like a five-bean burrito. Got me good. There's, there's a kid in the woods in Bluebell with a throwing star and Foley prints on it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably getting ready. You're going to get set, a set up, too. You better go find that throwing star. Got my, got my DNA all over it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because I used to jerk off on it. I thought that was a fun twist. <laughs> Nobody came with me. You got to go to confession. <laughs> um, all right, I did go to confession a couple weeks ago. He had no time for me. What'd you say? Uh, did, you, did you apologize for being rude to your best pal? I hadn't done that yet. <laughs> you do it every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he had no time for me. I tried to get into some things. He, he, he Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me that. He said, go say a couple of Hail Marys and hit the bricks. Yeah. Probably into the strip club or something like that. Oh, God. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's knock out a couple of mo here. Please. Um, this one's a home run. This is from Reed. Were you raised? Sorry. Were you raised by your grandparents, even though both your parents were alive and well? <sighs> Man, that's that's a bad kid. That's a that's that ain't great. If that kid's got a BB gun, a slingshot, fireworks, and throwing stars. My kids ain't going over there to hang okay, out. Okay, there you go. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. See? We were on the same page. We just came in at it from Did two Did you have any friends growing up where the grandparents, with, with a, you know, where somebody was missing and there was a, a third, an extended family member playing one of the roles? Which it's, mm. it's not a trashy thing. It's a great thing that the, the other family member stepped up and... Obviously, circumstances, everything. It's a trashy thing. But it's not classy. That means somebody's on the Abu Ghats, on the junk. Come on. Sure. Something's going on. Sure. They had them young. They didn't know. Yeah, I mean. This happened, that happened. But circumstances. But it's still garbage. Sure. I'm not above it. Sure. Many friends that had that situation. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. They were always the best grandparents. Sure. They were. They were. They they were cooler and hipper than some regular parents because they were they, they were with kids every they were they had to they they were with the youth. My grandfather and they got sees it. kids every like seven years. They were always the fun ones that would like take you to the movies. Sure, you know what I mean because they had because you know a lot of times the grandparents are a lot easier on the grandkids than they were on the kids. Sure, you know because now they're older, they want to have fun, they want to do all the things. That they didn't get to do with the kids, mm-hmm. and that that can really work to your advantage, you know. Somebody's <laughs> sure. Somebody's mom's in rehab for a couple of weeks. Yeah, there you go. And I'm the piece of shit kid taking advantage of these poor people. <clears throat> Look at you. Always nice. Plus, they always cooked really well. Mm. Yeah, more twenty, you know, thirty more years of experience and throwing down in the kitchen. No mom can cook, you know, in a vacuum. No mom can cook as good. As a grandma. Yeah, but then then I disagree with this because we were just taught. Really? We talked about this. The older, we were talking about our parents. The older these broads get, they they start slipping. Yeah, there's there's a you should retire age, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should pass the recipe down, but the recipe's never as good as the way she made it. But then the next generation. This isn't making any sense because you say they shouldn't, there's no grandmom that's as good 
No mom is as good as a grandma. Yes. But at some point, the grandma gets worse. I don't well, understand. No, well, yes, I'm saying, of course, as they, when they're fucking 90 years old and they can't see the fucking measuring spoons, yeah. <laughs> Thinking the salt's fucking baking yeah. soda. Yeah. All right. Fucking try to contradict me. Get, I'm not. I'm just trying, trying to get in my head. Oh, man. Yeah. But what I'm also saying is, too, when it comes to time where, you know, she's not, when the grandmom's not making the casserole with the mashed potatoes, they usually pass it down to some bozo in the family. Sure. It's never this as This sounds very personal. It's never as good. This sounds very, very what personal. What dish are you talking about? Yeah, this is something. I'm talking about my mom, I'm shepherd's pie. <laughs> I knew it. I knew there was too much emotion connected to this. Then to you ain't just... there yet, Trace. I'm telling you right now. You ain't there yet. I, Keep working on it. I, I know when you're talking here and there's something fucking still waters run deep. My Aunt Mary used to make a shepherd's pie that would blow your fuck. In the air back. Yeah. On a crisp autumn day, whip that out on a Saturday afternoon. We'd all come over. We'd all go over mm-hmm. to have the shepherd's pie. Like four families would converge on one house. Shepherd's pie. Oh. I had an aunt that threw down banana pudding. Oh. And then everyone would ask the recipe. She goes, oh, just follow the box. It's, it's on the box. It's not I on all, the box. I all lie. It's not on I the box. I got an aunt whose oatmeal raisin cookies blow your. F- Shout out to Aunt Mindy. I know Kyle's listening. Shout out to Aunt Mindy. These cookies, I'm not an oatmeal raisin guy. Come Christmas time, three, four, five, six of them at a time. Everybody. And she goes, I Oatmeal ginger- raisin's like goes, ginger ale. Every she- once in a while, it's all right. <laughs> she goes, I had ginger ale yesterday. <laughs> I know. I saw that. Diet didn't look too shabby. Oh, buddy, was- I've said it before. You get the cranberry around the holidays. Nice. Screaming cold, that ginger ale. Ties the season in. Um, But... uh. Shit. And she goes, just it's off the box. It's off the box. And like at some point, another all the other ends like this thing ain't off the fucking box. Something's <laughs> up, Mindy, and you ain't telling us. They're doubling up on something. Some butter, sugar, something. Something's yeah. cooking. Yeah. And they're not letting you in. My Aunt Mary Ellen one time made uh stuffing and she did it real thin. And it was so crispy and so fucking good. Uh-huh. And I knew she did something to it, but she would never admit or never tell anybody what she what she did to make it so good. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I know. You can't compete with that experience, with that, with the experience of making it a million different Sundays in a row. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I get yes, of course. I get that. And that's why sometimes when the grandparents raise the kids, it works out for everybody. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Except for the kids' mental health and the parents. <laughs> but I had a nice Saturday. <laughs> and in Foleyville, that's all that matters when we get down to it. That you enjoyed yourself. To a degree. Yeah. <laughs> There's aspects of that that I wouldn't argue with. Mm-hmm. They also knock out breakfast, too. And the house dress, knocking out a little brekkie, doing but sausage see, that's, nice. I feel like that's when they get loose with it. That's when they start cutting some corners, like... I would much, ra- at this point, I would rather have, because now if we're looking generational, it's like my mom is the grandmom, and then my sister and sister-in-laws would be the I'm not aunts. eating at your sister's house. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to the Pete's. You are not invited to either one of them. I could get an invite. No, you could A couple of years. She's not a fan. Really? Really. Wow. She heard, she, she heard that you criticized her for being divorced. He called her kid a piece of shit kid. Did I? You're, you're out. No, you're talking about the piece of your sister. Both of them. Oh. Why would anybody want to be around you? Fun guy. <laughs> Judging everybody. It's what you do. Um, Still. What? Invite notwithstanding. If I'm using that right. I, I would much. Ra- <laughs> I don't know. I would much rather go to the pieces for dinner than your sister's. No offense. Because sure. I know it's going to be a better meal. Although my sister-in-law's... See, this is what I'm saying. You don't know what point. you're talking about. God damn it. This guy's all over the place. I need more research. He may, so this is what he does. He thinks about a dish and then makes a hard, a hard statement on it, then thinks about another dish. He goes, well, I'm not sure now. I don't know. I do like her mashed potato. My sister-in-law puts out a meatball that, man, second to none. Unbelievable. But I still stand by my statement. Okay. Um, I think we can move on. Let's do one or two more. And then we got to wrap her up. What is the pieces dish? Have we talked about this? Uh, if you're doing, you're doing a contest, the family's life is on the line. You get to present one dish to the firing squad that's either going to save you or break you. What are you putting out of Denise to piece? Is it a cutlet? 
Call, let's, everything was, uh, it's, it's tough. I honestly haven't. Cause when, oh, I know what it might be. What? Her bacon, egg, and cheese. I would say her breakfast. Really? The only, yes. Is that be, good? Because the only issue is um, the past 10 years when I've been, go, like, you know, whatever, I've been up here for eight years. No one's around. She's out of practice. And I, when I go home, it's for, I'm not going home on, like, a Tuesday night and she's making dinner. Like, when I'm going home, it's like, oh, we're going here for dinner. Or I'm, I'm going home for parties and stuff. So I don't know her. The past eight years, I've been out of the loop on what's really cooking. And also she might have not, like a chicken cacciatore or something that's ra- everybody's raving about. Yeah, these she she does make she does make a fucking killer string bean casserole. Oh, killer, killer. That's good killer, any time of the year. Killer as a main or a yeah, side. Yeah. I don't yeah. give a shit. Killer string bean casserole. You like a green bean casserole? Love it, dude. Yeah. You, Aunt Nisi's taco dip is real big. Aunt Nisi's taco dip is a Showstopper. <laughs> it ain't like Aunt Mindy's cookies, but it's all right. <laughs> That'll get you out of Eastern Europe. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Throw that in a guard's face. So I'm saying I haven't had my mom. Like, I haven't had a proper dinner cooked by my Like, she does Thanksgiving, crushes Thanksgiving for, like, 30 people every year. Mm-hmm. But, like, minus Thanksgiving, I haven't had a my mom's dinner in a long time. Because we go back for, I go back for Christmas, Easter, Birthdays are typically in the summer. It's like a cookout, barbecue, like that kind of stuff. So it's never like I haven't been home for like a fucking Sunday meal of her. Like this is what I'm making in probably ten years. And I before li- that, I wasn't living. In I like to get home on the weekends every once in a while, as you know. See my see my pop. Um, Patty Patty dropped uh, some fried green tomatoes a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Mwah! Yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go my if I'm. I would put my mom's breakfast up with most. Most people. And I'll I remember I learned when I was like eight, my buddy Matt, his mom, he, he like, my mom made him a bacon, egg, and cheese, like just a, even a real quickie on a couple, well, two pieces of Stroman. And he was like, this thing. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> she can fry an egg. Yeah. After my, all, those are way around a dozen eggs. My mom, my mom's would be her cutlets. Yeah. Just plain, simple, 4C cutlet. Thin. It's off the box. Uh, it ain't off the box. You're doing something, she's Patty. Doing we something. know it. Yeah. I actually do know what her secret is, but I, I don't know if I can say it. Okay. It's Crisco. She uses Crisco. You know what Crisco is? Yeah. You know a, what Crisco is? You used to have a fry dad. Yeah, I dude, know I'm what from, fucking Crisco <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina, dog. Crisco yeah. is. You dropped Crisco like you were, you were talking about Litecoin or something. <laughs> Like it was an NFT. Yeah, I know what fucking Crisco is. Oh, man. They ran that- commercials through the 90s. <laughs> uh, you know they what- spent millions of dollars on advertising. To make sure I know what Crisco is. Oh, man. That's a, that's, that's, that, I'm sure that's frowned upon in cooking these days, but that stuff. I'm sure people still. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Nice tub of lard. <sighs> Knock yeah. your socks off. All right. Let's wrap her up. Hang on real quick. Okay. I just, Toby, you got me hungry now. What's your mom's dish? Uh, dry martini. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, we love you. Woo. Kippy, you got anything for him? Guys, uh, come out to it. We got a couple of live shows left for the end of the year. We come got a couple to- of live shows. Come out to the fucking live shows. We still got some decks of cards, some koozies left. We'll get those out. Uh, the link's everywhere. The whole fucking nine yards. Join Patreon.com. Thank you for the fucking support. You guys are the fucking shit. You've made this little pod that could a fucking bigger pod that could. We Thank love you. Thank you fucking so much for... Fucking, you know, the army of garbage, baby. We love you. I want to say Philly, come out strong. October 27th, Helium Comedy Club and yeah. New York City. New York fucking city. Come out. Gotham Comedy Club. That's They're both going to sell the fuck out. November go- 9th? November 9th. If Woo! you don't get your fucking tickets, you're fucking dumb skis. Yeah, let's it's go. It's going to sell the fuck out. Both of those shows sold out. Come see us. We love you. Peace. Bye.